Hello, my name is Rainer Leitgeb. I'm from the Medical University in Vienna. I'm working as an associate professor at the Center for Medical Physics and Biomedical Engineering. And uh, my work is dedicated to applications of optical coherence tomography, and in particular, of functional extensions of this technique, which is uh, blood flow imaging and optical angiography, and uh, applications also or combinations of this technique with uh, uh, methods from from holography, and recently also we use uh, uh, a combination with photoacoustic tomography. Our center is part of the medical hospital in Vienna, so we have really a door-to-door -door collaboration with the medical doctors, and that makes it actually very easy if you have some idea, we have some instrument that we built, uh, we can directly apply the technology then also to, to having patients then uh, actually profiting from those, from those developments. And one of the main applications that we are looking for is also uh, looking for functional extensions uh, of OCT, which is blood flow imaging and angiography. And we build an OCT system which is based on high-speed Swepsis technology. And this OCT system is equipped with uh, specific scanning protocols and specific ghost processing algorithms that allow uh, very nicely and a fully label-free way, way actually to, to contrast uh, vasculature in skin down to really the small scapularies. In the, in the superficial layers. And uh, together with the dermatology department at the Medical University, we were able to apply this method to, to patients with different diseases, uh, including also non melanoma skin cancer. And uh, it was really uh, very nice at the beginning what we saw that uh, different diseases appear very different concerning the vascular uh, impression. So the vascular patterns, for example, for Skin cancer, as one would have expected also, appears more cha chaotic because the vessels, they grow faster. Um, and in other cases, for example, a simple inflammation of skin, you could still see an ordered pattern, but the perfusion is improved or is, is increased in this case. Uh, so this was uh, very encouraging, encouraging because we saw that the possibility to having, in addition to the, to the uh, structural imaging possibilities for OCT, to having also the functional possibility to see the vascular structure could actually improve the, the diagnostic capabilities of this method. So currently OCT, of course it depends, in this case it depends on the wavelength you're applying. Uh, in general it's, it's uh, one millimeter up to 1.5 millimeters, it's the penetration depth of OCT. Um, in certain cases this is not enough, like for example for melanoma we would like to have uh, up to two millimeters depth. Uh, or possibly more, of course. Uh, what we are doing is, in order to extend that, I mean, first of all, there's a, there's a trade-off. If you would like to have larger penetration, uh, larger focus depth, though, so we, we lose resolution. And uh, you could, for example, use, there are systems that use multiple foci in depth in order to increase the penetration and keep a good resolution. And what we, what we apply is a, is a certain engineered beam called Bessel beam, so-called Bessel beam, uh, that has a very nice property that it keeps its lateral extension over long depth on the one hand and another property is it's a kind of self-regeneration property as it pro propagates in tissue uh, keeping, its, uh, keeping its shape. Additional advancements I think can be made by taking for example technology from, from astronomy which is uh, adaptive optics and in this case one could also adapt the wavefront and by that way deliver more light into deeper layers and this way also possibly improve the penetration depth. So optical biopsy, it's, uh, in, princip in principle, it's the, the in situ uh, histopathological assessment of the, of the tissue without taking out a chunk of the tissue. So um, I think one has to be careful where to, of, about which bit tissue, for example, to talk. For example, if you talk about skin tissue, it's easily accessible. Uh, and in this case, uh, OCT already does a very good job in spotting those uh, cancerous lesions if it's non-melanoma. For melanoma, it becomes a little bit more difficult um, because in this case also you need to penetrate deeper. Melanoma uh, grows downwards and, uh, and there um, possibly the combination with functional extensions could help improve also the capabilities there. Then if you talk about internal organs, there's a completely different story there. Uh, we need endoscopes. Usually also the contrast is poorer, also of the, of the lesions there. 
Um, so what is on the, on the conference were really exciting uh, developments already in this direction that a kind of multimodal approach in this case seemed to be very uh, promising and could really increase what I saw already, could really increase the specificity to uh, diagnose those tum tumor sites. Um, so what is needed in fact is, uh, so we need, on the one hand we need the technology, we need uh, endoscope probes, smart endoscope probes, intervascular probes. Uh, on the other hand, we need uh, also additional research, clinical research, to convince the medical doctors that this technology is ripe enough, mature enough actually, to uh, be really an, an alternative for tissue excision. What attracted me most is the possibility that you work uh, in, uh, in a field that actually has a link to many different other disciplines. So it's really this interdisciplinary aspect that attracted me a, a lot. And of course, the beauty of light. I mean, just look on a rainbow. <laughs> and uh, for me, uh, a kind of key experience was when, uh, uh, for the first time, actually, I had an instrument and there was a patient coming, sitting in front of the instrument. And actually, I saw that somebody could actually profit, a real person could profit from the, from the ideas, from the technology that we were developing. So this was really very satisfying and uh, confirmed my, my decision to continue my, my career in this field.